Now this little piece here, <clears throat> well it goes on that bracket over there, but anyway, we're supposed to ride in this groove here, you know, and that makes this, well, you know what I mean, but anyway, it makes this plate move that goes in here, and uh, screws in there and rides in this worm here, once it broke off. So, I, and I, hello kitty. So this thing here is pretty expensive to buy, you know, this is just a nut that goes on here. It's got a slot, which I can fix that very easily. Anyway, I went up to Fasten all, and they had these grade 8 bolts up there. They're 9 sixteenths, and uh, I got four of those and three nuts, just in case I need them for practice. There's only two and a half. I can't believe it's that cheap for grade eights like that. Well, hello there, kitties. I guess I'm just getting all... Well, we got our buddies over here. I don't know if you see them or not. But anyway, we had them over for a minute. Uh, they, they eat like horses. I've already fed them twice today, and they're wanting something else now. But anyway, I'm going to try to cut this down. I'm going to cut this off. And uh, I'll attempt to, attempt to make this similar to this. I don't know exactly the angle it has to be, but we'll work with it and see what happens. What do you think, kitties? What are you doing here, huh? 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 Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I got to take out time for the kitties. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to take them now. <laughs> what do you want? Huh? What do you say you want? You want something to eat, I know. That's, well, we have to see about it. Okay, anyway, that's what it is with the interruptions we got here. This will be uh, about about this long all together here. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is just that's just on there. That's the locking nut. But I got some more of them. So it really won't have to be that long about right here. So I think I can cut it off right about here. That'll be about it. So we'll get by and get at it sooner or later and start working on this thing I guess. I don't the worm's alright, it's just it's not a new tractor, so we ain't gonna get too shook up about that being a little war like that. Oh, by the way, I got the bearing orders for this, too. Well, this is a piece I made. Uh, don't have a, the uh, slot in the back like this has, but it's very similar. And uh, from what I can see, this looks like it's... If I can get in the right position, it don't look like there's a whole lot of wobble in here. I think it's about right, honestly. I can always adjust it if I have to. Similar to this, and I believe they, I can't, I'll have to look for sure, but I think they wanted like $30, $40 for this turned down bolt. This is a 9 16th uh, fine thread, and I'm going to have to give uh, Fasten all a, a shout out, by golly. One time I went up there six or three years ago to get some bolts, and the only way they wanted to sell it was in a big old bag. And I didn't need a big old bag for only five or six, or six I think it was. Well, this young guy here, he's, yeah, we got them singled like that. And I want you to know that four of these bolts, and they're, all, they're grade eight, and three of the nuts was two dollars and fifty cents. Now I believe that's quite fair. We got a farm and home center down here, which is a good place. They got a lot of good bolts and reasonable price on their standard bolts. I think they're a dollar ninety-nine a pound, and you can get a lot of bolts for a pound. But when you get down to the fine threads, they don't have many. And if you don't get down to the, the, not the grade eights. They are expensive. So anyway, that's the gist of this. And when I get my bearings, we'll get busy and try to put this back together. And we'll try to get that monstrosity back off its Rinsky over there and get it down. I'm not trying to restore this thing to new, new or anything. I'm going to get it up in good functional condition, and then uh, I'll probably try to sell it. All right, that's it for this one. Okay, well, we got our bearings today for this. <clears throat> and uh, we can really put that in there. I don't typically like to wear gloves, but this is a messy job here. If I can figure out what I'm doing. It's very simple, but uh, I doubt if I figure it out very easy. Get on here, you. Ah, please. Ninety degrees out here right now. No sunshine on. No air blowing. So that's kind of like the old cookie crumbles. Now, if I don't knock my camera over there, I'll be lucky. It's better sitting up there on the spoon. Let's go over here. I got a mess here. You probably can't see it. I got a chicken plucker over there. And, uh, 
I don't know what a few kings should have, but I got more. Anyway, that's pretty lightweight. Let's see here. I'm going to fill their bowl, so I don't have any more of them in there. Shouldn't be very many more. Good bottles fell out of there. No, they're just in there someplace else. I don't have any of them in there. Anyway, here it's up in here. Come on, get up in this thing here. There, now there's that. Now you get them back in there where you were in your belong. Usually excuse that broke.
Let's see here. I think that bolt will go on through after this. I don't know for sure. I don't know. I guess it will. Alright, before I get too carried away there. I'm a little clear, I'm gonna get greasy anyway, so don't make much difference. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something different. Beep, beep. All right, you're probably out of, out of battery. All right. All right. Beep, beep. No, it doesn't say it's out of battery. Uh, well, I think I'm going to have to do something different. I don't know. Let's see here. That actually seemed to work really good, but I don't think I got it in the right. I don't think I got it set up for that. For it being uh, standard, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But at least we got it back together. I mean, it's good enough. I mean, I don't care. It's not a you know, We're not going to be running no 500. What do you call that? Their engine half was 500 with it, so. If it's close, it's good. i got to figure out how to set that, if there's a way to set that. Secure anything. All right. Well, you'll get back at it later. See, i got this thing here i got to finish. That, i got to put that motor on. So that original motor didn't work. Well, we'll get into that on another video. But another project i got is a did some work for a guy, and he gave me that old... Cub Cadet, I don't know, it's uh, really works good. I told you I turned the motor with it while ago. See if I can't put that on the one edge. I don't need that. I can find the motor the way it is. All right, that's it for now. Well, at first I thought maybe there's a certain way you had to put that little pin thing in the, on the worm, but then after talking with the uh, uh, garden tractor boy and his dad over in uh, UK, I think we discovered that this is that there's no other different. This thing here, uh, you just turn it. I checked it, turned it all the way around, and there's three around, three around, and one and a half back is exactly centered. So everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna put it back together later on, put it back on the tractor and everything. But we don't need to look at all that. We've done that before, so well, you'll see what happens as we get that done. Something else, I'm sure there's other things need done on that tractor beside that. <music>